Get hyped for the video. Are you recording that? Because you're doing it the wrong way, by the way. You gotta record it sideways. Did you record it and then now you gotta record it again? You gotta hit that button or it's gonna uh, mess up in the formatting. Hey guys, I'm Greg the Handyman. Uh, today we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, this isn't gonna be pressure washing related, but we're gonna be doing a screen repair. Uh, this screen looks like it had either a raccoon or a large uh, animal try to chew through it, maybe a dog. Uh, dogs have a tendency of trying to go through these screens like this. Um, but today I'm gonna show you guys how to repair this screen. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Oh, 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 we're good? Yeah. All right. So for the first step, what you guys want to, oh, I see you doing some stuff over there. Well, how about you keep give going. Me, give me a thumbs up when you're ready. That's a, okay. So for the first step, what we're going to do is remove the spline. Uh, there's spline all the way around. There's four pieces of it, and they keep the screen in place and nice and tight. They're not some kind of like Joey who's amazing at doing screening. Because we know Joey is the undisputed king of screens. Correct. Undisputed. I mean, when you got tiny hands like that, you could just rip the spline out and roll it in using your fingers. Or your teeth. <laughs> you got any tips for pulling the spline out or putting uh, it back in? And fast. Those aren't really tips, those are more <laughs> directions. So skilled. So now that I've removed the screen, I'm gonna go lay it on top of my new screen so I can cut it to size. We buy our screens in 100 foot rolls. Um, you can get this from Home Depot or Lowe's, and they come in a little bit smaller rolls, probably 50 feet, but we do a lot of screening, so we buy it in a large quantity. New screen going to be replacing the spline and I buy my spline in thousand foot rolls um, you always want to replace the spline when you ever do, you do it whenever you do a screen uh, the old spline gets very brittle and hard and it makes it uh, hard to roll back in that's what she said that's what she said Still recording? Yeah. Alright, so uh, we're gonna start with our screen. My screen comes with a red line on top, and I always roll the red line in first. Uh, when you do it, you wanna take the screening. Can we get close up to this part? Nice, get, get in there nice and good, like. You wanna take that red line and you wanna line it up on the very top of this part right here. And then I do what I call a pre roll. And this makes it easier for when you're working by yourself to be able to do this, you pre-roll the screen in. And the screen should tuck in nicely like that. And you only want to do a small section at first, just to get you started. You'll take your swan, you'll set it in the track, and you take your roller, my handy dandy knife roller combo, and you'll get it started just like that. Then you'll take your screen, drape it off, you'll pre-roll this in. Again, with your red line on the top of the bar, pull your swan as far as you can. And roll it in. Ideally, you want to work in about two to three foot section. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself because it makes it very difficult to handle all this. Now, um, for me, I'm a professional. I do this all the time. I'm going to roll this side down while I have up here on my ladder, so I don't have to come back over here. So we're gonna roll this. We're gonna get this started, just so we can uh, save a little bit of time. have to come back over here. And again, I'm going to trim it while I'm over here too. Take my knife. And you want to take your knife blade and you want to run it right in between the crack where the spline is and the aluminum. Bring your knife all the way down. Nice and smooth cut. Now if you're not comfortable doing it like this, you want to do one step at a time. So you would want to do your top first and then maybe a side after that. Go. I'm gonna finish up the top over here. Roll that in. 
grab my spline. Uh, if you have a little bit of trouble rolling your spline in, you can pull your spline tight. You don't want to pull it too tight though, because then you'll stretch it out too much and it will shrink back eventually. Cut it and roll it. Uh, we're going to finish this side coming down. Um, a little tip for making sure that this is all straight is that if you look at the screening, it has a pattern to it where it's got squares in there. You want to take the lines coming down and make sure that they run straight with the aluminum. Maybe we can get a close up of this too. You can see how, how straight it is and that's going to make sure that your screen is very square coming all the way down. It does take a bit of pressure to get the swine in, but if you do it right, your screen should come out flawlessly. Now we want to trim it up. Again, handy dandy knife roller combo. Uh, you can't find these anywhere, but uh, I'm making myself. That's a lie, and you know it. These are, you know, something that only I have because I'm making myself. Now, uh, a sharp knife is always important. This knife is a bit old. I probably could have changed it out and that would have helped me out a lot. But we're still doing pretty good. I'm not too worried about it. A little trick for cutting your swine is you can take your knife and you can just leave your knife against the aluminum and just pull the swine up and it'll snap right off and you just want to tuck this, this in just like that. Okay, on to the last side. On to the second to last side. Um, you want to make sure that this, this side is pretty important. You want to pull your screen tight as you go down um, to make sure that your screen is nice and taut all the way through. Uh, again, I pre-roll just to start off. Pre-roll that side. You can kind of let go a little bit. It's not going to work. It's not going to loosen the tension very much because it's already rolled into the tracking. Take your spine again. Line it up. Uh, you take your spine again. You line it up. And roll it in. I do about a foot and a half um, to keep the tension right here and then I roll this down while I'm holding it still. There's a bee currently by my face, hopefully it does not sting me. Don't know. Uh, again, about a foot and a half down, pulling the screen tight and rolling it in. And that's going to make sure that your screen's nice and taut all the way through. Listen guys, while I'm doing this screen, I just want to give a shout out to everyone. Uh, we're currently at uh, 1,800 subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, we've grown a lot since last year. I think we've gotten over uh, 1,200 subscribers in the last year. So that's awesome. We're growing channel. If you guys like this video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment down below, and hit the little bell. Uh, get notification for when I uh, post new videos, so you can be the first to like it. <clears throat> Here we go, last couple feet. I'm going to do this all at once. Rolling it in. Pre rolling is the key to your screening. If you want to do a good screen, you gotta learn how to pre roll. And we're not talking about weed. Damn, yeah, this fa channel's family friendly, dude. This channel's demonetized. Please do not demonetize my channel. You should definitely edit that out. Again, nice sharp blade, it's always best for this, it'll make your job a lot easier. 
Uh, now we have to do the bottom. The bottom's pretty easy. We're gonna pre-roll it in. And since the sides are already tight, the bottom doesn't drastically affect the outcome of the screen. But you wanna make sure you do a good job still. Make sure there's no bubbles in there. And everything's nice and tight. And redo that. I'm going to trim up all the excess, make sure everything's nice and neat all the way through. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below.